in this video we will cover ungroup and the sum so first here in this we will change this to group product name because we already have a field by that so that's confusing group product name and in this label group product name because this field here product name was matching was the same I have put this same as the group name initialize group by state This one should be the field of this group and this is the product name the one coming from the original table that's how it should be. so the confusion of a product name and the group product name is now clear that was a small thing that could have caused confusion so I decided to put it now we'll put another button oh not here control Z we come out of the gallery go to the screen We call this button ungroup and on select of this button we'll say clear collect ungroup product name this is the function ungroup state products this was our group and this was the group product name which we created on grouping which we just renamed so if you see here initialize group and ungroup so view the first collection state products is grouped by state so there are three cities two cities so this is grouped now ungroup is again back to how it was this is showing only five items five items but uh, you know it's basically ungrouped so back to what it was original now we'll insert a button and call it sum here I have a formula now see This is the result collection. Now add columns is a function which will add this column to our state products and that column will be sum of applied on that group And sum will apply on the quantity so the sum based on this group which we created originally and 
is some applied on the quantity. Result collection, adding a column to the state products. So this state product sum will be exactly like this state product except that one column will be added. And this column, the formula for this column is sum on the group product name group sum on the quantity sum of the quantity on this group. Let's uh, run this initialize group sum. So we we'll New York has 16107. See, the original uh, collection was in New York, these three are the sum of 10, 5, 1. California, 3 and 100, 103. And the Nevada is 7. So I'm just totaling the quantity. I do not care if it is, I'm adding t shirt with a washing machine. Okay, remember that. Although logically it doesn't make sense, but I would say that, okay, 15 products were shipped from, or 16 products were shipped from New York. That's a good uh, aggregation. So, uh, we can add a screen. On this screen, we will put a collection gallery and state products we will put this and this here this item dot total products in the state that's it we see New York system California Nevada the products total of products so this is what we have got. We did a sum. We did the ungroup. Ungroup will store the result in this collection. We are ungrouping the state products grouped collection. This is the collection and this, this is the group name. Collection, group name. Okay, state products we created here. And the group name was this. So ungroup, ungroup is also based on the collection and the group name. Then sum is uh, the state product. Is, is the result collection? We are adding the column to this original uh, collection. This is the column name, and the sum is based on this group on the quantity field. So this that's it for ungrouping and sum.